So I keep posting this one line that goes, um, you cannot be financially free unless others are in financial bondage. And I've realized that a lot of people don't understand what that means. And I'm saying this because when I post this thing, you find a lot of people saying, no, I think you can be financially free without enslaving others. It's a pile of bullshit. I've studied the money game uh, quite intensely and in great detail. I've read all the books you can think about, you know, I mean, luckily I've worked in banking and I've read up on how the formal money system came about and how it currently operates. The system as it stands has got a limited amount of resources for everyone on the planet and it is designed in such a way that only a few people at the top get to be really well off while the rest of the people are either poor or are in extreme or heavy debt. When I say you cannot be financially free unless others are in financial bondage, let's speak very quickly about passive income. Passive income is that income that comes to you even if you do not have to work for it. So if you own a property and people pay rent, uh, that means you don't have to wake up every day and go work, but you'll earn money at the end of the month. If you invest in the stock market and have shares and come end of the year, uh, you earn dividends. You didn't have to really work for it, but you earn that money. That's called passive income. If you invest in some other business, whether it's your own or a friend's business, whether you own 100% or 50% or whatever the case may be, but every month you maybe get a payout or every six months or every 12 months you get a payout, then you are earning what's called passive income. Passive income is the measure that people use for financial freedom. That means you no longer have to work for money anymore, but your money works for you. In order for you to be financially free, it means other people need to be working for you or working to pay you. If you buy shares, for example, um, you are investing in a company and in that company there are employees and those employees have to work every single day for the whole year so that you can earn your dividends at the end of the year. And those employees obviously have to sell goods to other people or sell services. If you're renting out property, you own 100 units of flats, for example, and you're earning what you call passive income. There are people inside those flats that have to go work really hard every day and earn a salary every month so that they can afford to pay you so that you can be financially free. It is almost impossible to earn money and be financially free without other people being financially oppressed. Even if you're making your money from consulting with a few wealthy people and you say, oh, yeah, but I don't oppress anyone because my clients are all rich. Those rich clients make their, make their money from somewhere. And that somewhere is either their employees that are underpaid or if you are maybe a first world country like Switzerland, for example, where you feel like, yeah, but my whole country is well off and no one is oppressing uh, anyone. That's because your country <laughs> oppresses other countries. You know, for Britain to become the great monarch that it is today, the United Kingdom, it is because they went and they took from other nations. They took land, they took mineral resources, and for all intents and purposes, they enslaved and oppressed the locals so that they can work and slave hard for them. Countries like America to thrive, they need sweatshops in places like China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, to work hard for them so that they can then go on and sell their Nikes and their apples and their whatever else so that they can be financially free. You cannot be financially free unless others are in financial bondage. And people that don't understand that don't understand basic maths and they don't understand the money system. It is very basic. If you want to be financially free, get comfortable and embrace the idea that it will mean that you have to oppress other people financially. Whether they work for you, whether they pay you, whether um, you take money from them and they are your clients or whatever the case may be. That's the system and that's the way it works. You either embrace it or you get out of it or maybe you kill yourself because that's the money system that we live in. Cheers.